But uh, right now, opening our um, webinar is Anton Lilleby, um, software developer from Bouvet. Uh, he will talk about how uh, they improved um, the performance of their um, website and got a perfect score from the Google's Lighthouse. Welcome, Anton. The stage is yours. Thank you very much for the introduction, Alan. Um, I'm going to share my screen now. Uh, I think I will share this one. Can you all see my screen? Yes. Yes, you can. Okay, very good. Um, yes, I don't know about you guys, but I think this animation animation is nice looking. It kind of pops off. Uh, this is test result from Google Lighthouse audit on bouvet.no. And it gives that page a hundred of hundred on those four uh, audits. I'm here today to talk about uh, why and how we work with performance at Bouvet. My name is Anton, and I'm a developer working on Bouvet.no, and their internet means the uh, Bouvet.no for almost a year now. And these two applications are built on the Anonic XP platform. Bouvet is trusted by many solid and long-term customers uh, since 1985. And as an IT firm, it is important for us to show them that we can perform at their places as well as on our own place. Why does speed matter? It is important to user because, well, faster speed, uh, uh, faster pages are more efficient. The faster your website load time is, the happier your visitors will be. In other words, when it loads faster, it can deliver content faster and satisfy users quicker. You can also expect to see improvements in conversion rates and sales revenue. And you may question if a few seconds off on a web page loading time really has an impact on customer UX and business growth. Well, yes, it does. And don't take my word for it. The average, uh, for example, Google uh, research found out that the average mobile uh, web page takes 15 seconds to load. And uh, if you consider that website conversion rates drop by an average of 2% with each additional second of load time, then you could understand how important a good page uh, speed is for your web page. For example, Walmart.com noted that with every second of increased page speed, there's saw a 2% increase in conversion, which can be a lot of gains considering Walmart having a net income of over 13 billion US dollars in 2021. Uh, and a study by Kismetics reported that 40% uh, uh, leaves a website that takes more than three seconds to load. So yes, uh, users don't like to wait too long and performance matter on customer experience and business growth. So how can we uh, improve our performance? Whenever you are set to improve a page's load performance, I would say always start with an audit of your page. The audit has two, uh, two important functions. It creates a baseline uh, to measure uh, changes against Second, it gives you actionable tips on how to improve. Lighthouse is one tool you can use for this. Uh, it's an open source automated tool for improving the quality of your web page. And you can run it against any page from your Chrome DevTools. If you are familiar with that, I will show that in the next slide. Lighthouse has all this for performance, accessibility, progressive web apps, and CEO, and much more. And I'm here, uh, however, to focus on performance and page speed. Here you can see Lighthouse running from the dev tools in Chrome. I can try to make it run. Yes, here we go. On our web page, we actually use Lighthouse to gain insight on how to improve our page speed. As you can see here, you see here it's running from the dev tools in Chrome. And uh, this is not live results. <laughs> But you can try it uh, if you want. 
and hopefully get the same result. Uh, and yeah, this is a long slide. Uh, Lighthouse test result will give you a feedback from up to 24 ways to improve your performance and the page speed. And the list is quite heavy, and I'm not going into details about everything here. But if you're curious to learn more about them, I would recommend you to read this in-depth blog post by Brian Jackson at kingstar.com. Uh, first time we used Lighthouse on Boveda.no, it prompted us with a lot of issues and actionable uh, tips on how we could improve performance on our images. One of the most basic optimization on image is compression. Anonic built-in uh, image services make that easy and help us to reduce our image sizes so they will load faster. We lower most images to a quality of 85%. And further, we format them to the file format uh, GPG. The images are still looking crisp, even though the trade-off would reduce the quality. Also, uh, WebP images are becoming the new standard, which are 35 or 30% 30 smaller than the comparable GPG that we use. And hopefully, we will be able to convert to this format uh, with XP soon. Um, with the same uh, image uh, service, we generate images for various screen sizes and use it in the HTML uh, source set. Source set is an attribute to specify different kinds of images for different screen sizes. As you can see here uh, in the uh, image, we have a source set attribute where we uh, paste our, all of our image sizes. And if you can serve 160 white uh, with image on a smaller device, then that is, of course, much faster to load uh, than serving a bigger image. Um, yes, I, I have a video here. As you can see here uh, in the Chrome DevTools, our images are loaded when they become visible. You see all these requests to the right. Um, and this is called lazy loading. Instead of making uh, the browser load every image on a page before displaying the content, it will only load the ones that are visible. Less loading uh, before a page becomes visible means better performance, which is why Lighthouse recommends this method. Anonic has a library for caching, which loads resources lightning uh, fast from memory. One on our intranet, uh, MeanSida, we use the caching library uh, on our organization map. The map contains a large uh, data set uh, with a normal request time on around 15 seconds. But since the data set were not changing that often, we figured out, hey, we could regularly catch the query and know in return, we, re we receive a fast respon response when visiting the page. You should always minify your JavaScript and uh, CSS files. They're often larger than they need to be in order to make them easier for uh, us humans to read. Uh, minifying your code is the process of eliminating uh, unnecessary characters, spaces, comments, etc. Google recommends this practice again because it reduces your file sizes and therefore can improve loading speed. An application from Anonic we often use uh, is the Live Trace tool. This tool gives us detailed report of requests that takes time to execute. And in this example, we found out that global search on our internet were really slow. It took around nine seconds searching for the company of Inuit. And if you go back, we can see that here, 40% abound a website that takes more than three seconds to load. And our search took nine seconds. And by using the light trace, we improved the loading time by tracing and rewriting the function that caused this extreme uh, hike up. Now it takes two seconds, which is better. And before it was nine, as I said. So this tool is a huge, uh, huge deal for us to, for tracing and optimization. 
Now I'm going to show some code examples on, on how your code can impact your page speed. The traditional for loop takes around 25 to 50 milliseconds in XP to execute on an array with 1 million elements. New functions like for each can arguably be easier to read than a traditional for loop, but the same operation with these loops takes 100 milliseconds more to execute than a prior for loop. And the same operation on a for off loop, you can see it takes 400 to 600 milliseconds uh, to execute. So this will probably not matter if you don't have much to iterate through. But if you have 1 million uh, or heavy queries, you should probably consider using the traditional for loop. Now add some anonic functions. Uh, in anonic, you have a function called page URL that generates an URL pointing to a page. Something to be aware of uh, performance-wise with this function, if you were to use the ID as a parameter, this function will also call a get function to find the path before generating the URL. And but if you already have the path, that will be an unnecessary function call. So if you have the path, prefer to use that rather than the ID. The new exist function for both node and content API provides faster checks of using the get function. Prefer to use this usage of ID rather than the, than the path, at least in the node library as I'm aware of. And if you attended an anonic developer 201 course, you would have been given several useful tips about improving performance. We say first, always be careful with queries inside loops. Second, don't fetch more than you need. And third, a query result can easily be catched like we did uh, on MinSida or Intranet on uh, our organization map. There is always something to stretch after when it comes to performance. Fixating on your score and obsessing over reaching 100 of 100 like I do is not probably, not probably the best use of your time. Uh, for instance, you can run more strict tests uh, on platforms such as GT, Metrix, PageSpeed Insights, Wiseflow, and web page test. Web page uh, test, as you can see here, uh, gives Google.no a terrible score in first byte time, which is a measurement of how long the browser has to wait before receiving its first byte of data from the server. And it looks like we can uh, compress our images uh, even better. Uh, we got a B in that. The point is, we can always uh, improve. I think the next performance step at Boa.no uh, is to look on possibilities uh, to reduce unused CSS uh, and uh, JavaScript. In this image, you can see a code coverage tool, uh, which you can uh, access by pressing Command Shift P in your browser uh, in the dev tools. Uh, and here you see the red part uh, here is unused code and the blue part uh, is used code. Uh, and if you look closely, our homepage has 95% unused CSS uh, which uh, on the front page, which we should uh, improve in the future, I think. And, and the same goes for JavaScript, uh, where we have 64% unused code. Um, and I think that's uh, all for you for me now and thank you for your time.